This is Night Spire, and welcome to another death-defying episode of Broke. We're about to start a new game and embark upon a bold new journey where we will come close to death and perhaps meet it. Where one small mistake can cost your life. Can we survive? Can we prevail? Can we descend to level 26 and obtain the amulet of Yindor? Or will we perish? But one thing we don't want to do is make a foolish mistake and die early. So we must be careful with every move. Oh crap, that was close. All right, let's go heal up. Damn eel. Gotta be careful because the auto explorer doesn't care about wandering into water. And that monkey just stole a scroll. We don't know what the scroll is, but we want our scroll back. Oh crap, come on. Come on. Come on, Mr. Monkey. Shit. Come on. One more hit. Good, got it. Now, if you haven't wondered, I have not really talked about exactly what I'm doing yet. Because we're only on depth two. And I don't actually bother with my inventory until we survive to depth four or five. Now where the hell is the key? This bloat has really slowed down our progress. We've gotta wait for the air to clear because we don't want to be poisoned by walking through that purple haze. So here we go. Each step immortalized, bringing us closer to our destination of the Amulet of Yindor on floor 26. Okay, now, apparently, there's no path for further explanation, exploration, but there is a locked door. So, you might wonder, how the hell do we get in through that door? And the answer is very simple. It looks like there's a secret door over here. So we're going to go over here to the secret door and search. There we go. There's a secret door. And there's the key. Oh, it's one of those. Shit. We should have searched before we took a step in that room. But we didn't search, so we have to go back up. But that's okay. There we go. We got back up. Let's go back over here. That's going to occur. Oh, phew, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Well, we're going to go down here to, to heal up first. Because there's a vicious eel in the water that attacks us, and we don't like that. So now, come on, let's get out of here. All right, let's go over here. Here we go. Boom. Jackal, okay, let's go. Oh, okay, search. So here we go. That is the key. And now we can go back to the locked door. And let's find out what treasures await us in this room. Rings, rings, rings. Ring of reaping, ring of light, ring of stealth, and ring of transference. Well... I think I like the Ring of Reaping more than the Ring of Transference, personally. I mean, it does heal you when we inflict damage, but this will, this will um, um, help our staffs and charms recharge. And right, and we already have a Ring of Transference, so we'll use the Ring of Reaping. And we have a staff, which we haven't used yet. We'll try the staff, actually. So next opportunity, we'll try the staff. So now we're going to go back and hopefully not get attacked by the eel. 
and yeah, we're fine. So we're gonna go down to depth three, and let's try our staff out as soon as we can. All right, we're gonna try our staff out. What is our staff? Let's see what our staff does. I think he's on the goblin over there. He's sleeping. Oh, the staff of healing. Okay. Well, we don't want to point that at an enemy, but staff of healing can be useful if we have an ally, because we can heal our allies. Right now, we don't have an ally. Eventually, we'll hopefully find an ally. Allies are not guaranteed to find. So that's the thing. You know, equipment that you find in this game can be completely useless if you don't have the prerequisite. There we go. So we got a goblin killed, healed up on the tree, and there's a wandering goblin conjurer. We're not going to bother with the wand just yet. We'll start opening up potions next level. Boom, he's dead. And let's go ahead and get these potions over here. Two full. Well, I said we would start opening up potions next level, but... Our inventory is full, so we have to start opening the potions. We'll open up this potion. What does this one do? Detect magic. Okay. Well, we got two of them at least. That's good. That doesn't happen so often. And we found out that we actually have a magical armor. That's a great news. Unfortunately, we can't really use it just yet. Maybe we can get some potions of strength. That will help us. So now we only need to enchant the splint, splint mill a couple, three times. But two times will be better. Will allow us to wear it anyway. So, oh, but that was a scroll of teleportation. That wasn't what we wanted. Well, at least we got. We know we got multiple scrolls of teleportation. So let's go ahead and. Well, it looks like that um, goblin conjurer has an item. Okay. This can be potentially dangerous. So we're just gonna throw a dart at him. We're gonna start damaging him from a distance. Because we're in the doorway, we can only be attacked by one of those things at a time. And walking up on him is dangerous. Okay, cool, got recharging charm. And brown potion and two scrolls of this. So. This might be the scroll of enchanting. So we're gonna use that. Yeah, it is. We're gonna enchant the splint mill two times. Yep. Yeah. Now we can wear it. I'll just pardon me one second there, just check and do the time check. So now we can wear the splint mail because it will give us an arm rating of six. Now we need one more strength potion or one more enchanting in order to properly use it. But this is giving us a better armor right away, and at least we know that um, it's magical. And so it's going to, we don't know what sort of effect it might have. But let's go ahead and eat one of this foods. And also the ring of transference we, we have as well. So we have two rings. You can only wear a, a maximum of two rings in this game if you don't know. And we also have this axe. The axe. We need one more potion of strength in order to properly use the axe. But we could use the sword right away. So yeah, we're going to use the sword. It's better than the dagger. Yeah, so we're, we're not doing so bad. We can handle the eel now. Yeah. Okay. So depth three, we're okay. Yeah, we're, we're really overpowered for depth three. I mean, we're basically good enough to handle, you know, the first 10 levels just with our present setup. So we're fine for the next few levels for sure. But we don't want to, oh well, yeah, whatever. Let's just go ahead and take out these guys. Boom. Boom. 
boom. Okay. And we can free this goblin. Okay, we got the jellies. Yeah, I think we'll have no problem with the first 10 levels now. We're doing pretty good. So we have a staff. Another staff. Okay, and we got the staff of healing. So let's go ahead and use the staff of healing. Forgot that we had that. Boom. So we're healing our ally right now. Which we can't really see because we're hallucinating, but it's our ally. And what's that? Another potion. So I'm hoping for another potion of strength. Uh huh. Let's go ahead and heal our ally again. We don't know how many charges we have on this, so let's just keep using it until we run out of charges. Okay, so now we know it's a staff of healing with three, three total charges. Okay. And boom, the monkey has no chance with us anymore. Yeah, we're doing. Yeah, this is gonna be easy for the next few levels. Um, yeah, we got these potions now. So let's drink one of them. Oh, invisibility. Two scrolls of enchanting. All right, two scrolls of enchanting. So what we can do now, let's see, how many turns? 541 turns, we'll know what it does. But if we, all we could do is enchant the axe. I think we want to enchant the axe. That's what we want to do. Oh, we got another potion to detect magic. That's great. So we're going to enchant the axe first. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna use the, the axe because that will increase our accuracy and increase our damage and allow us to attack multiple adjacent enemies. I mean, basically all adjacent enemies at the same time. So that's great. All right, excellent. So I'm quite pleased with where we are right now. I would like a potion of strength. Was that potion of strength? That's a weird potion. Okay, we're hallucinating again. Potion of Strength will increase our armor quite a bit. How many more? 351 more turns, we'll know what that does. Too full for a limited mod, huh? So what do we have here? Well, we got two green potions, but it might be something bad. In fact, it's likely to be something bad. Probably won't want to use that yet. So what do we want to do? You have the Scroll of Enchanting, we could enchant something. We should use our staff. What the hell? In fact, you know what? We don't even need this sword. The sword. The sword is not as good as an axe at all in this game. Yeah, so we're going to drop the sword. We don't need the sword. Axe is what we need now. Aluminum wand. Okay. Next enemy we see, we're going to use the other staff. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and use the staff on the bloat. Oh, it's obstruction. Not excited about that. That's one thing we don't have right now is ranged. And that will be a very big problem if we can't find ranged soon. Uh-oh. All right, let's... Go ahead and wait for this. There's a po another potion to detect magic, huh? That's interesting. So we got a couple potions to detect magic, but we have to start using stuff here to make room. God, what the hell is all this shit? Well, we don't need this leather armor. We can drop that. No, we don't need the dagger either. We'll drop the we'll drop the dagger. Okay, so we got two potions to detect magic. Oh my god, really? Why is it taking so long for this to clear? I'm like spamming the search button. At least our ally's fully healed now. Plate armor, something die in combat. Looks like our goblin took care of something. That's good. And we're continuing. Oh, two full. Warpike. God, we need to start. Yeah. We are just getting tons of shit, aren't we? All 
All right, fine. Let's drink one of these potions then. No, we could drink. We need to do these scrolls. All right. Well, that was a, a Discord. Well, that wasn't so good. Um, what does this one do? Scroll of identify. Okay. Well, which is more important to know? We we'll probably see what these wands do. Fine. What does this wand do? Polymorphism. Okay. Well, this goblin is going to be attacking us. It's not too bothered about it. Let's go pick up this other item. Um, that was nice of the goblin, actually. I guess we can't attack the goblin, which is good. All right, so he's just he's not discordant anymore, which is good. Let's go ahead and kill these. So yeah, Axe will detect all adjacent enemies at the same time, which is very helpful against jellies. And healing the goblin would be good right now, but I don't see any healing tree, so we're gonna go down to the next level. Death number six, and boom, look at this. What do we have? Well, we have this scroll. You know what I think we're gonna do? Well, maybe it would be useful to, to do the scroll potion to detect magic. We've got two of them, so we're going to use one of them right now. All right, so now we know the plate armor is crap, so we can drop that. And we know the warp pike is good, so that's good. So we might end up enchanting the warp pike so we can start using it. Because that does quite a bit of damage, and it will act like a spear so it will attack your adjacent enemy and the enemy behind the enemy which is good uh no we don't want to degrade that oh it's a plus three splint now that's okay but we need to remove the splint now because we don't want it to be degraded yeah that was good that we got that off in time so what are we going to do here see we don't have a way of of dealing with the acid mount we do kind of want to read this scroll, but we're not going to read this scroll until we get our armor back on, because that could be a scroll of protect armor. So yeah, we don't have any ranged weapon, unfortunately. Well, I suppose what we'll have to do is, is let our goblin take care of it for us. If you can. Shit. Maybe you can't, but we got a staff of healing, so we'll help out our goblin. Yep. Boom. There we go. Our goblin took care of that. We're going to put back on our armor. And now we're going to use this scroll. And no, it wasn't a scroll of protect armor. It was not a scroll of protect armor. We have a telepathic bond with our goblin now isn't that sweet let's go ahead and heal try to do our healing on goblin again if we have all right so hopefully he can take care of the goblin yes thank you goblin for taking care of that because without you things would be not as easy we got three of these green potions now let's use one now it's potion levitation that's interesting Okay. What's this plate armor? Oh, it's bad. We just we did. God. Oh no. Oh well, whatever. Let's just drop the plate armor then. Boom. You know what? We'll take a lot of damage anyway, so we're just gonna jump.
can jump. We're levitating. I forgot about that. Anyway, um, there we go. Oh, shit. There's an acid mound. Damn it. Don't like this at all. Goblin, come over here. Help us out here. We got this freaking... This is not good. Okay, um... Not good. We have a scroll teleportation. We do have that. Let's see. Boom. All right, so we got rid of that guy. That's good. Come on, goblin. Where are you? Help us out here. Are you still alive? What happened? Your goblin dies. Oh, shit. Goblin, you left us. No. Now we have to use up all of our darts against a stupid acid mound. That sucks. Where is our scroll of protect weapon? Where is our scroll of protect armor? Come on, RNG. You want to give us all this, these acid mounds without giving us the means to deal with them? That sucks. Now i got to put our armor back on. All right, what is that? Oh, look at that. Here's a, here's a scroll, an unknown scroll. Maybe this will do the trick. What does that do? Yes, protects our axe. That's awesome. That's good. So now we can deal with attacking the acid. We don't have a way of protecting it against the acid, but at least we can attack the acid. There we go. Took care of all them monkeys, and we got some sort of a spear. Is it kind of a spear is it? Oh, it's an enchanted spear. Wow. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all, you might say. Oh, it's over here. Scroll of identify. Yeah, we do want to identify something. We're not sure what we want to, want to identify yet. What do, we, what do we want to identify? We want to identify the aluminum bond. It's a one of empowerment. Okay. Well, next time we have an ogre ally or og or troll ally or wraith ally or some decent ally, we'll use that. That's weird. Why is there a crystal up there? Oh, yeah. We did the... Uh, Scroll of um, Shattering. Okay. Now we're going to go down to depth 7. And look at this. We have... Oh, look at that. Oh, there's a staff. Could that be a staff that we need? Could be. We'll have to try it out. question is, what kind of trap is on this key? We don't know. Maybe we should try using the spear to see what it does. Yeah, let's equip the spear. Hmm. It's a sword as well. Now we don't know what's going to happen if we take this key. It's probably trapped. One way to find out. Here goes nothing. Hmm. Oh, shit. It's some sort of invisible phantom. Oh, Joe. No, I don't know. Um, we need to um, use one of these other potions or scrolls. Shit, we don't know what the staff does. All right, fine, we'll have to use one of these potions. Okay, using a potion, potion of life, okay. Oh, okay, turrets, we can handle that. Turrets are okay. Boom. Yeah, we got the turrets. Yep, no problem. Boom. Two full for potion of life. We want that potion of life, so let's drink something else. What is that? 
fire immunity. Okay, we don't really need that. Okay. Oh, yeah. We need the axe. What are we doing? God. Now let's go back to the spear. Too full for the sword. Do we even want a sword? Maybe we don't even want to bother with that sword. We still need to try out what the staff does. Well, I guess this is one way to find out what the staff does. Oh, it's a staff of blinking. Okay, that didn't really help us. Well, the axe is probably going to improve our accuracy and damage, so we're going to use the axe in this situation. But... This actually is not a good situation for us. We're probably going to have to use blinking the other way. Or using polymorphism on the spider. But that's risky. We don't really have a way of dealing with it. We don't have any ranged attack that's guaranteed to hit. Whereas the spider is guaranteed to hit us and would fatally poison us in three turns. So he's a big, big threat. We might have to use the um, scroll of, of teleportation. That's a huge threat. We need to go here. Oh, man. Fine. You were using the scroll of teleportation. Are we? Well, we could risk it. Could we risk it? No, it's not worth the risk. It's not worth the risk. We can't. We don't have a way of, of dealing with the spider. Actually, wait. The axe. If we equip the axe. Now, 42% to defeat it in three hits. And we have the potion of life. All right, we're going to try to attack it, and we'll use the Potion of Life if our health is too low. That's what we'll do. Boom. 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 All right, we defeated the spider. That's great news. And we didn't have to use the Potion of Life yet. But the Goblin has a 20% chance to hit us to kill us in two turns. But he didn't see us. So... We can... Throw... A dart... On the fire trap. Yay, so we burning up them. Burn, baby, burn, burn, burn. You're all dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we just wait to get out of here. Okay, cool. Boom. Now, well, it's over here. Too full, huh? It just seems like we're always using shit to make room for shit. Fine, let's use this potion. Potion of speed, okay. We got a puke potion. Puce puke. What's that? We got the dart back. And. Okay. Yeah, and so let's switch to the spear. We still need to get like 20 enemies. switch back to the axe because oh well, no we don't necessarily boom 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 there we go how many more enemies are down 15 more spear is handy 
Mm-hmm. He's wandering. Let's wander away. He's still wandering. Wander away. Now he's hunting. Mm. Well, his chance to hit us is 23%. But we want more damage, so we use the axe. Come on, there we go. We need to eat. Oh my god, we're out of food? Are you... Oh, there we go, food. Good, 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 good. Let's go and get the sword. Yeah, let's go get the sword. There we go. Two full, huh? What do we need to open up now? Hmm. Oh, bon, Charlie, more potion. Telepathy, okay. We can deal with that. So it looks like... Well, yeah, Axe is the only way to deal with this guy. Right now. There we go. Too full, huh? Jesus. Let's equip the, um, the spear. And is there something we want to enchant? We could enchant the split mill. Good. Hmm. Yeah, these stabs are not exciting, are they? God, we're trying to, we want to try the black potion. We know what the black potion does. Fine, we'll drink this potion. Hallucination. Shit, that's the one thing I didn't want. Such a pain. All right, what's this one? Staff of Lightning. That is tempting because we don't have any ranged. What's this one? A door key. God, we have to go manually on each one because we're losing. Plate armor. We don't know if that's enchanted. Haste charm. Oh, well, Haste Charm is handy as well. I think Lightning would probably be better. But you know what? I think we're going to drink a Potion of Life just because... We hate Hallucination. So we're drinking a Potion of Life. Boom. And so we can see what's over here. There's a Ring, a Wand of Empowerment, a... Titanium Wand. A staff of blinking. Oh, it's a tough choice. Lightning or staff of blinking? Holy crap. We already have a staff of blinking. What are we talking about? Okay, we don't need that. Well, from what we can tell, it's in this other room. It's, we don't really see anything necessarily that we want. I mean, these are just wands. Wands aren't so interesting. And this is a ring, we don't know what the ring is. We don't know what's on the other side of this. Or as we do know that this is a staff of lightning which we could use. It's a really tough choice. We do want ranged. Fine. We'll get the staff of lightning. So that at least we have range damage, because that's the one thing that we're missing is range damage. So let's go down to the next level. Great. The food suck got us. And boom, we are here. Yeah, let's go see, so see what the spear is going to do. 14 more. Oh shit, we didn't pay attention to what these enemies were. Oh crap. What's over here? Okay. 
How many more do we need? Can we know? Eleven more. Okay, that's a lot more. That's good. Another potion to detect magic. So let's go ahead and use this potion to detect magic. So now we know the sword is shit. We can drop the sword. The mace isn't especially good either. So we can drop the mace. Yeah, the mace would give us more damage. But compared to the axe, the mace doesn't give us that much more damage. And it's twice as slow. So... I think we can drop the mace. We're going to drop the mace. But we're going to go ahead and equip the spear because we only need eight more enemies with it. We need the potion of the tech magic, okay. What else do we have over here? Recharging, charm, lightning, blinking, obstruction, staff of healing, teleportation. Yes, yeah, so we got the, all these potions are bad potions. Okay, we can throw them though. Okay, that's okay. And there are a few, there's one good magical item over there, and these ones are negative. Okay, we don't know exactly what that does. But let's go over here. Oh, can we? Yeah, let's go back over here. Oh, no, we can't yet. Fine. A bog monster. No, no, no. First of all, 11 hits. We need to use our axe. That's going to do more damage, number one. Number two, it is explosive gas. If we had a way to set it on fire, that's a quick way to deal with the bog monster, but we don't. So we can kill it in seven hits if if we never missed, but it's only a 50% chance to hit. So chances are, one-on-one, -on -one, against the Bog Monster, we would lose. And that's why the Staff of Blinking is so important. We do have the one of Polymorphism, but we only have three charges of that, so we probably want to keep that safe. But we don't like that the Bog Monster is blocking our way. We do have these bad potions. That's what we'll do. We're going to use a staff of blinking and go this way. And now we're going to throw the potion. Not the potion of caustic gas, but what we want to do is the potion of incineration. It's a potion of darkness. Potion of Confusion. Hmm. Yeah, we don't have a Potion of Incineration. Hmm. Oh, we have the Staff of Lightning. We could cast a Scroll of Enchantment on the Staff of Lightning. Give it a little bit more oomph. Uh, he's hiding. Let's go ahead and go in there. Oh no, now I'm confused. Shit, that wasn't a wise idea at all. That was stupid of me. Oh, I got confused again. Because there's one residual. Well, let's go back up here then. Let's see what's over here. We have a magic item over here somewhere. Okay, let's go ahead and switch to the spear since we only need eight more enemies to know what it does. Scroll Protect Weapon. Okay. It's good to have another one of those. Might want to use it on the War Pike, actually. So we got the Monkey. So we just need six more enemies.
You see five more of these, right? Yep, five. Got these potions, cool. Now maybe we should use our potion of invisibility. But we don't need that splint now. Let's go ahead and drop that. Drop that splint now. Don't need that. So I'm going to go ahead and use the potion of invisibility. Oh, we have this other bad potion to use. We'll go ahead and first use the potion of invis invisibility. And we want we'll, we'll do the most damage, so we'll use this for now. Let's see if the bog monster is blocking us. Ah, we're able to get through without finding the bog monster. Oops, killed all the goblins. Huh. Okay. Oh no, we're paralyzed now. Okay. Gold. More gold. Might as well get the last gold over here. And that's it, right? Nothing else. So we're going to go ahead and go down to the next level. Depth 9. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we need to equip this again. Damn it, we forgot. We need to kill more enemies with it. Oh shit, that's a troll. That's not good. He hasn't seen us. Now he's seen us. Alright, let's throw this potion at it. We don't know what it does. Let's find out what the hell it does. So that was Potion of Incineration. See, he can kill us in three hits. It would take us 13 hits. This really, really sucks. I mean, the axe is going to be better, of course. Yeah. So we have to equip the axe. Well, we could do polymorphism. We probably should have done that before we threw the... Hmm. Oh, staff of obstruction, it's too late for that. Alright, fine. Polymorphism it is. Boom. It's a burning craiklin. That's helpless. <laughs> That's good. In fact, let's go ahead and use the spear. Okay, cool. We can use the spear. Boom, 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 boom. Defeated the Kraken, yay! That's another enemy. We don't want to go out of our way to kill eels, though. They're a pain in the ass. Oh, look at that. Here comes a goblin. How many more? Three more. Okay, two more. Another spear. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Where the hell is the trap? Don't know. So there's a vent, but there's no trap. It's not weird. There's got to be a trap around here somewhere. So all the way up there, huh? Okay. So it's a paralysis trigger. Let's go ahead and throw a dart. 
on that paralysis trigger. There we go. That paralyzed. Just have to wait now for it to disperse, which it has. And now we can go in and kill them things. That's, oops. That's one down. Two down. No, it's just a plus two spear. That's all it is. Well, that's disappointing. Plus two spear has less accuracy. But never, you know, situationally could have its uses in corridors, corridors. But right now, X is what we need. X, look at that. Actually, wait, first let's kill that thing. Now let's free our mystic. Okay. Damn, there's quite a lot of eels. A lot of eels. Okay. Hmm. We would like some more strength. We need more potions of strength. Because we would like to use that war pike. No further exploration. It's got to be hidden room or something. Yeah, right here. I think there's a hidden room right there gotta be. Search. No hidden room? No? But over here? Hidden room? Nope. Where's the hidden room? Over here? Nope. So I guess it's gotta be over here somewhere. Ogre. That's not what we want. You can kill us in four hits. Hmm. Well, I don't suppose we could use the staff of lightning. We do have our assistant shielding us. So yeah, we should be able to prevail with this. Come on, keep shielding us. Yeah, thank you. Keep shielding us. Don't. What did, why is he running away? Bastard, what? Goblin mystic, what the hell? Why are you the hell way over there? Are you. God damn, coward. Such a coward. This is our last food now. Right, let's find out what the hell's over here. There's gotta be a secret door. Where is this? Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's remove our armor. There we go. Put our armor back on. Boom. More hammer. Scroll of Enchanting, another scroll of Protect Weapon, and some weird scroll. Okay, cool. Let's read the weird scroll. What is it? Aggravate Monsters. Should have known. We got some gold over here. Okay. I think it's about time to make a cut. This has been a bit longer than the normal. Oh my god. 50 minutes. So we're going to make a cut here. We're going to make a cut here and we're going to continue it in the next episode. Season 2.